Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, Penny. Good morning, Mr. Lord. Would you please come forward? <laughs> Last week, Pastor Mayer concluded her sermon with the words, good luck, and I heard the same wish to Bill again <laughs> as he made his way up to the front. Hi, Penny. Hi. Um, Penny, I thought I was going to be doing this morning. Well, Mr. Lord made the front page of the papers three times, and I think I need to talk about that. Well, I had something else planned. Let me just say this, okay, please? All right, all right. Mr. Lord, yes. I want to say I watched you. I was there on Friday night. Did you see me? I did not see you there. Candy Bunk Port uh, Conservation Trust. Is that why you didn't say hello to me? <laughs> yes. Um, well, I was there, and I just wanted to tell you that what that lady said at the end was really true, and I thought you were the best of all the reporters, even though you were a skinny kid. <laughs> um, I was real proud of you. Thank you, Penny. I, let's see, that was 50 years ago, yeah. and I'm 50 pounds heavier. That doesn't matter, but what I wanted to say was, first I was jealous, and I thought, 50 years from now, is everybody going to come and watch what I'm doing now? And I didn't know that they would. And then, after I stopped being jealous, I started being thankful, because... You were on TV, and you've made it possible for me to be seen all around the world, right? That's correct. In fact, uh, as long as you're on, as long as YouTube exists, you'll be seen forever. Yeah, that was really nice of you. So, uh, this is Thanksgiving Sunday, and um, we, you and I, are pretty tight. And uh, I just wanted to say thank you, and I'm real proud of you for for Friday and for 50 years ago when you were skinny. I was, uh, I am thankful for our friendship and for the friendship with your mother and everyone here. Good, okay, you can go now. Thank you. Okay, well, I wanted to talk about the fact that today we are observing Native American Sunday. And we have someone in our church family who's, let's see, her uh, maternal grandmother, no, excuse me, paternal grandmother is, uh, just a minute. <laughs> Apache. Apache, Apache, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And um, ever since I first met Wendy, I always, always wanted to have a service where we would highlight and give thanks to Native Americans, because so often our concentration is just on the pilgrims. So this morning, I want to tell you a story. And it's a story that many Native Americans, American children heard all through the years. And it's about someone named Spider Woman. And not Spider Man, not to be confused but Spider Woman. Spider Woman was very, very wise. At one time, there was a girl just about your age. And this girl was very, very unhappy. And you know why? She felt sorry for herself. And she couldn't understand it. She knew she had everything she wanted. She had enough food, enough clothes, but something inside her just made her sad. And so they said to her, go see Spider Woman. Do you want me to hold that bag? Yeah. No? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so anyway, um, what happened was she, uh, Spider Woman said, you know, I think we need to have a talk. And so the little girl came to Spider Woman. This was a great honor. And then Spider Woman said, you know, I'm not going to talk, but I'm going to teach you something. And she said, watch this. And she began to weave. 
And she made something very beautiful. And she, the little girl said, can you teach me how to do that? And she said, yes, I can. And so the little girl learned how to weave what Spider Woman had been weaving. And then Spider Woman said, and you know what? This is for you to give as a gift to people that you meet along the way. And the girl was so grateful because she'd never had enough to give a present before. She didn't have money to buy things, but she knew how to weave. And so do you know what happened? She said, I'm going to teach others how to weave like you taught me, but I'm going to make sure there's always a hole in the middle. And people will say, what happened here? And then they will answer, this is because our teacher was Spider Woman. And I like that story because it shows us that when we are mindful, we realize that we don't have it all. We're not a full package. And there are holes in our hearts and holes in our minds where we realize it's because we are created, not only the creator, we are created by God. And so let's remember this lesson Remember that the way that we get happiness is when we can learn how to give. And in giving, we can remember that we and we alone are not the only creators. So let's bow our heads in prayer. Oh God, we give you thanks for the lesson we've learned from Spider Woman and from those people who have come to know you and to love you and to learn what you would have us learn. We give you thanks, too, for bringing us here to this place where we can learn about Jesus, who taught his people, who taught us how to remember not just what we are doing and to think about each other, but to think about you, O oh Lord, our giver, our creator, our redeemer. Amen. And you're now welcome to go to your Sunday school class.